So here's the thing. Camtasia 2020 has quite a few little, I call them hidden gems, and you got to kind of be a scientist and get down in there and look around for some of these guys, but one of them is called pitch normalization. And basically what that means is that it allows you to adjust the clip speed of a video clip and it adjusts the pitch of the audio to match. So in other words, in previous versions of Camtasia, you might be familiar with if you had a piece of video and you're speaking, of course, that's the kind of content that we would use you know, like all the time, right? And if you shorten that clip or lengthen that clip to fit your content, you would add a clip speed effect to it. Well, when you do that, if you have audio on your camera video, you either end up sounding like a chipmunk or kind of totally drunk. So if you speed up the clip, the audio pitch also gets higher. And the same is true if you slow down the clip. You get uh, this kind of totally drunken sort of effect. So here's kind of the scoop. I'm going to jump over to Camtasia. So here on the timeline, I have what would be a fairly regular piece of content. This is our good buddy Ron Hogue. He's on camera and Ron is chatting about something probably about Camtasia. Let's just let this roll. So far this has been the course that I am the most excited about. I have several courses under my belt. And there he is. That's Ron and all of his awesome camera goodness, right? Well, in previous versions of Camtasia, if I wanted to shorten this clip, of course we would maybe right click add a visual effect and add a clip speed. When you do that, you can twirl up the button here and you get handles right here to shorten or lengthen the clip. When I shorten this and then play it, you're going to hear Ron start to talk like a chipmunk. Hi, I'm Ron Hogue. Thank you so much for checking out my Camtasia Mastery course. I want to welcome you to the course and tell you that I'm super excited to do this course. And conversely, if I extended the duration, well, Ron starts to sound like, oh, a burly old mountain man, or in some cases, you can end up sounding kind of drunk, right? Super pumped about. So I'm really happy that you've chosen to join me on this journey to learn all about Camtasia. Well, here's the thing. In Camtasia 2020, when we do this now, I can go ahead and speed this up. And let's look at the properties of it. Let's say I take this to 1.5 and hit Enter. So this is one and a half times faster than it normally would be. So let's take a look at that. This one I'm super pumped about. So I'm really happy that you've chosen to join me on this journey to learn all about Camtasia. Now, Ron sounds like he's kind of like a hummingbird on crack right there, but the pitch is actually perfect. It's just him talking really, really fast. And the same holds true if we take this value down to oh, less than one. Notice that stretches the clip way out. And let's watch Ron now. That you've chosen to join me on this journey to learn all about Camtasia. Okay, so at this point, he sounds like he's really, really tired is kind of the, the scoop with that. This is uh, something that really, really can help out with camera video primarily. It's not really necessary in all cases if you're doing like screen capture video, although it you know can still apply, you just have to be aware that yeah, it is going to speed up how fast you speak. So in a case like that, in a screen capture video, I probably wouldn't apply a clip speed necessarily. I would separate the audio and video, right? And then just adjust the screen recording maybe by extending frames or shortening the clip to kind of sync up with the audio. So it's most useful when we're talking about camera video, of course.
right? So that's kind of the scoop on that. Uh, any questions on that? How many of you didn't know about pitch normalization in Camtasia 2020, right? Let's see, Robert asks, do you need to change some setting to apply pitch normalization? No, you do not. All you need to do is apply the effect, right? Which we did. We have clip speed and it does it automatically. You know, if you change the clip speed to anything other than one, and again, you can adjust that in a couple of ways, either in the properties window here, or again, even more handy to me most of the time, because I'm usually trying to make this fit into like a hole of, you know, a, a fixed duration, is to twirl up your effects tray and then you know, trim the duration. Okay, using these boxes here, usually pretty worthless to me. Why? Because, well, you gotta do some math here. You gotta figure it out. Well, I just grab the handles here and, you know, put it wherever I want. I don't really worry about this stuff too much, but I guess they're there if you want to use them. Okay, so that's a fun one. One of the little hidden jammies. Now this actually works for music clips also and I'll give you just a totally unrelated <laughs> kind of scenario here. I'm a drummer. I've been a drummer for about 50 years and one of the things I like to do of course is learn from other drummers, learn new songs and things like that. Well a lot of times I'll go to YouTube and I'll watch somebody play a particular song in a video, right? And if it's a complex song, which I'm prone to be drawn to, you know, it's not easy pulling off Dream Theater or Rush, you know. <laughs> Bands like that, drummers like that. So what I can do is I can download a clip I can drop it into Camtasia 2020 now, apply the clip speed, and I can slow that dude down. That guy that's just flailing like an animal. Right? I can slow him way down and be able to see and watch what it is he's doing. But here's the secret sauce. The audio is the same. It's just a slower tempo, right? So the pitch stays the same, tempo changes. And I guess that's a good way to kind of look at the effect in general. Yes, when I speed this clip up, Ron's tempo is going to increase, but his pitch is going to be the same. Uh, this would be useful making your narration faster and sounding smarter, says Robert Miller. And in the fact, it actually would do that, yes. So if you're kind of dragging or things like that, you could speed it up just a little bit. And there are studies that show that people that speak a little bit faster, just a little bit faster than they would normally speak, tend to come across as more knowledgeable. We've talked about that before. It's part of the fluency heuristic effect. Okay, so that's a good kind of maybe possible use for it as well. You don't have to speed stuff up a lot, just, just a little bit, and you'll come off a little snappier, a little quicker. Good point. Hey, since you're already here, watch this video next and I'll show you another Camtasia 2020 hidden gem feature. The more you know about Camtasia, the better your videos will be, right? So check it out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.